All right, here we go. <laughs> Another gumball video. So, we're looking at yeah, a very upset little snake. Okay, this is a bling yellow belly pastel fader. And we all hear about fader and for when I came out with this lovely term fader years ago, I was basically just defining these snakes I was making that had excessive blushing here and there and was doing some really weird stuff. So I'm going to give you an example of a, this is actually a really nice example of a bling yellow belly pastel fader. Sometimes the fader really, I don't even know if it, you could even definitively say, oh, this is absolutely, you know, fader on some of the lower examples. Only the really, you know, excessive faders are very clear. Problem was when I was making this stuff, people started jumping on fader, fader, and everybody was like, oh, this is this fader, this is that fader. So people ended up buying all this fader stuff, even, sadly, even connected me to it when they didn't get any of the animals from me and uh, just said they got it off a nerd and all this stuff. And this is even early on before I was even, you know, would have even been able to sell any of this stuff. Okay, so nice. So we look at this, just memorize that. So then we can look at uh, different variations. This is, uh, this has a lot of genes in it, but I'm building up to something. Although my order is completely random. So this is a Mephisto Het Red Exantic, but this has got Fader in it and Bling Yellow Belly. So you, I don't know how well this is coming out, but we have a nice white belly with this orange. And this really is going to allow me to make all sorts of cool things. So then if we continue onward with just, you know, some more fadery stuff. I like, so it, it, it just does some really random odd things. Oh, I'm going to make a mess here. <laughs> ah! Let's drop the snake. So this is just, uh, these are just some combos with fader in them. But I'm building up. Yep, and I'm gonna start knocking everything over. Okay. Hopefully. I'm not even gonna bother you in saying what's in each one of these. It's too much for me to cope with. But these guys, I would say, are all clearly showing attributes of the nerd fader. And this stuff makes silliness and I barely even sell much of this stuff now I just kind of just sit there and just grin and bear all my unique animals and bloodlines because if somebody just like you know doesn't think the fader's real well that's a real sad tragedy cuz let's go see okay this is when we start amping up we start amping up the fader. I'll show you the final thing. So fader needs other genes to, to show itself. So it needs things with blushing. So obviously pastel jungles, cinnamons, um, black pastels. I mean, anything even thinking you know, like Mojave's and stuff like that. I don't do a ton of Mojave stuff. So we, we have these guys right here, and they're awesome. Those are Darth Faders. So if you take that, so if you take a Darth Fader, which is, I think these guys are all the Super Faders now, so we're doubling up the Fader gene before I made the Darth Fader 2.0, which was a, uh, Inferno or Super Inferno Fader. So. When, this, when those get bigger, this is what you're looking at. I think that's awesome. That is just amazing. I cannot wait to put Enchi on that. And I'll show you what happens when I do combine that. So if we get rid of a little bit, that because that is Lucifer. This is all right here is all Lucifer. If we get rid of the Lucifer and just start looking at Super Fader stuff, we get that. 
Now I'm really out of control on my snakes because I'm gonna lose snakes in a couple minutes. Yep, I am. See, look at this. Nightmare. <laughs> All right, just look at the pretty snakes while I try to manage snakes. They're like, we wanna be free. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So, when you're making all this fader stuff, so you take this amazing animal, and then you breed it to something else, and suddenly, if we don't have the right format, or the right setting, and the, and the right things, we start going back. So now, we start combining Enchi. Well, it really isn't exactly, you know, showing much of the fader but I think it's attributing to some of the awesome blushing and stuff like that so the fader is very real and if people don't want to believe it that's your loss because I continue to make ridiculous snakes <laughs> here at nerd and uh, you just have to be careful. People uh, making up stories about uh, faders and whatever. And the reality is the fader came from nerd. And you know, you have things like whitewash and stuff like that. That's all obviously very real. But this is just, you know, what we call fader. Fader came from lemon pastel and it does awesome stuff. All right, I hope you guys liked video number two. Love your fader gene ball pythons.